Hello and welcome to Kung Fu Cabinet Episode 8. I'm your host, Kung Fu. In this episode, we will review Long Step Mantis, aka Dynamite Trio, or The Mantis Kung Fu Master. Directed by Danny Cheng Yao Man and starring Mark Long, Lung Fei, Chuan Yun, Gu Bao Ming, Huang Wan Peng, Tang Chung, and Jackie Chen, who is also the movie's fight instructor. Do we love kung fu movies or what? We love the action, the characters, the choreography, the acrobatics. The stories are awesome. The scenery is way cool. The weapons are frickin' kung fu hardcore ridiculous. And we can't forget the crazy, goofy, kung fu acting and hilarious kung fu voiceovers. Hey, listen, when it comes down to it, we all know kung fu movies are either frickin' kung fu hilarious and fun or frickin' kung fu cool and fun. Well, Long Step Mantis, I'm gonna say, falls under kung fu hilarious and fun. 1982 sees the release of this kung fu flip-flop, meaning you're either gonna love it or hate it. Here's how it goes. Two youngins dreaming of becoming kung fu masters get their hands on a manual of deadly mantis-style kung fu, which just so happens to be wanted by two nasty villains. One that's so badass that he kung fu kills with one arm behind his back. Kung fu, yeah. Anyway, so the two youngins befriend an old mantis-style master, then team up to battle against the wicked villains in order to keep the sacred mantis-style manual out of evil hands. Let's check this out. Are you the praying mantis-style champion, white hair? That's right. Yes, I am. Oh, are you? I'm called Fatal Stick. Marchang. Oh. Nice to meet you, Marchang. I am honored to have you here. I've come to challenge you. Oh. <laughs> with me. I want to test out your real kung fu. Oh, don't say I didn't warn you. Here I come.
you're such a famous man, you should walk in a different way. Huh? What, do you, what do you mean? How shall I walk? Ah, just look at me. <laughs> just like that. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, that is different. If I walk like that, I'd be a king. <laughs> a merciless killer! I'm gonna kill you, you rat! Are you crazy? Don't pretend! You don't match against me! Say so you kill my father instead, you bastard! <laughs> And the Kung Fu survey says... Bah! Okay, so it is what it is. You've got lots of Kung Fu fighting, though not so impressive. Different outdoor and indoor scenery, though not so impressive. A couple different types of weapons, again, not so impressive. Okay, so you get the picture. There's nothing much impressive about this Kung Fu movie. Not even the camera and editing work are impressive. Seriously. The editing is so bad at times that several scenes don't even have the characters in center screen. Sadly, not even the kung fu fight scene choreography is impressive. So what's the saving kung fu chop? Two kung fu chops save this movie from the kung fu trash can. Number one, old school kung fu movie revenge and sweet justice. And how do we like revenge and justice served here in the kung fu cabinet? Kung fu style. Number two, this movie, with its wacky acting, editing, and storyline, combined for one genuine, funny, fun-filled, classic example of good old school kung fu movie fun, which I like to call Kung Fun. With Little Blood, hilarious kung fu movie comedy, that so much appreciated kung fu movie cheesiness, no real hardcore kung fu action, no hanky-panky, and no sign of the kung fu cabinet's favorite kung fu movie character, the slutty, two-timing, can't trust them as far as you could throw them, Kung Fu Movie Villain Woman. All come together to make this movie great fun for the whole Kung Fu family. Kung Fu, yeah. Lung Fei plays Master Lee Quashur, the deadly fighter who is so bad that he only needs to fight with one arm. You'll remember Lung Fei from Kung Fu Movie Gems like Master of the Flying Guillotine, The Invincible Sword, The One Armed Boxer, and a ton of others. Mark Long, you'll know him as Ghost Face Killer, plays Zia Li, the son of a pharmacist who gets killed by Lung Fei and who becomes the Mantis Master. Catch Mark in Kung Fu roundhouse kicks like Born Invincible, The Seven Grandmasters, The Mystery of Checks Bossing, World of Drunken Master, and the list goes on. Longstep Mantis is director Danny Chang's first and only directing and writing project, though he is noted as doing some martial arts directing on B-movie cheesy puffs like Scorpion Thunderbolt. Magic Thunderbolt, Ninja Thunderbolt, and as the planning director on Feng Shi Gua 2. Don't listen to the haters, Danny. Good job making some kung fu movie magic. This movie reminds me of Abbott and Costello meet the Three Musketeers. This kung fu classic runs 90 minutes, and I consider it a kung fu movie for the beginner kung fu movie fan. On kung fu scale of kung fu, I give it a 3. A 1 is not even a foo. And a 10 is a Kung Fu Pal. That's it for this episode of Kung Fu Cabinet. Keep an eye out for more episodes and we'll see you in the Kung Fu Cabinet. Thank you. <laughs>